Hi everyone, it's uh, <laughs> probably can't tell, it's David Savage, I'm the Chairman and CEO of Accelerate Technology here at our headquarters in Cardiff, uh, wearing my Covid compliant mask, which is a mouth so I'm going to take them off now because it's a bit restrictive in terms of what I want to do. It's interesting that today coincides with when we should have actually been setting up our stand at the Emergency Services Show, uh, but we're going to show you the sort of things that would have been on our stand uh, uh, if it would be allowed to proceed and one very special thing that we'll finish off with so we'll start with the small stuff at the moment very very important our UAV streamer here um, this basically plug and play you plug this into a UAV uh, controller with an HDMI cable plug and play once you've done that whatever the drone can see then that image can be shared securely with as many devices or a control room as you want so thousands of mobile phones I don't know a search and rescue uh, all those mobiles will be able to see what the what the uh, drone can see body one cameras not your bog standard just recording these are live streaming push to talk radio included um, man down capability or person down I should say in this day and age uh, person presses that they pop up on a map in a control room and video starts streaming immediately um, something we've developed for one of our fire services but for the general marketplace this is our Lynx portable Wi-Fi hotspot basically you take your network with you okay follow me this way uh, believe it or not this is what we give our sales teams each of them gets this complete kit to take out to our clients generally our first responders they get a Ford Ranger on the roof of that Ford Ranger I don't know if uh, Jordan you can uh, lift the camera up here or I will. On the roof of this uh, vehicle is a Kymeta flat panel satellite antenna as you can see there. So that's broadband via satellite on moving vehicles. Very very important uh, new wave really of, uh, of growth concerning this kind of capability now. And next to it is our XL antenna. Um, hundreds of these things being um, supplied on, on ambulances at the moment. Um, so that's going very well and that product actually what that does is extend the range of 4G but also improves the performance of 4G. This basically is um, uh, uh, well I guess a rapid response vehicle um, again customers are looking at this instead of having bigger vehicles uh, this is a vehicle that completely self-contained okay we're gonna waltz this way around the corner so as we go here then um, look at the beast we've got behind us we can break cover on this now because this product uh, this vehicle was signed off this week by our client who is uh, Hamid Medical in Qatar this is the fifth command vehicle that we've actually uh, built for that particular customer um, so you know very very pleased customers very pleased John you've got a wasp on your hand so be careful <laughs> <laughs> so, you're getting, yeah. so come on before we go on board the vehicle, just to explain, all of these vehicles tend to have outside briefing screens, one on either side in this particular instance. When it's traveling along these slide outs, these sides are um, stowed, uh, all automated by the way, the steps are automatic. In this particular instance, as you can see on the roof, John, um, this one, its connectivity is uh, multiple bearers, so it will use the um, terrestrial or incumbent mobile phone networks any of those networks uh, in terms of 4g and of course in due course 5g um, but at the end of the day you cannot have fully resilient communications if there is no satellite element involved i'm not going to give you the full tour of this because it would just take too long and i'm already taking too long so what we're going to do is we're going to step inside so if you follow me you can see some Accelerate branded things, some of that's our own IP. And then as we go through here, this is one of two um, operational areas. So this is where the work's done. Three stations here. Uh, I'm just gonna open the, have a look. If you look behind you, okay. So in this case, we can have them both open if that's what they want, uh, or you can actually have two separate teams, as you can already see, lots of screens on this vehicle, outside and inside. 
And then we go into this area. The beauty about this vehicle, fully air conditioned, fully self sufficient, its own generators, etc., is this can sit there for as long as anybody wants, and it's an operational headquarters, and you can take it and use it any way and any way you want. Uh, in any location, so including locations where there is absolutely no connectivity, no electricity, nothing. This thing's completely self sufficient That's probably all I want to say uh, for this. There's a lot more we could say about the vehicle and some of the Gucci things and features that are on board, but I'm uh, conscious of the time. We are doing a full, uh, proper, professional video, and uh, that'll be kind of Top Gear style, hopefully, uh, when people can get a much better idea of what the full features are specifically in this video. Thanks very much. Take care and stay safe.